Okay, welcome to the uh, fourth video in the series. Uh, this is the Dell Inspiron E1705. It's a 17-inch uh, monstrous beast. With, um, a huge audio system built in. This machine has 2 gigs of RAM. I believe this was a 2.16 uh, with the Vista, running, running on Vista. Uh, but we've overclocked it just a little bit uh, to make sure the temperature is not too high. And... Um, it's operating just amazingly at 3 gigahertz times 2. This thing has a little, uh, little problem reading, um, utilizing both uh, both cores. So actually it'll run on vanilla, um, which is your stock Leopard. Um, which is your stock Leopard kernel that you have to install a different one. You can see the sound is working perfectly. Airport, USB, both cores are rocking now with the new kernel that I put in that I'll show you. Um, memory, it's got two gigs. Um, let's see, I got a little snitch on here too, just for, just in case. A little bit of a main Mac here. See, I'll show you the kernel, what the name of it is. And I just found it on iHackintosh.com looking through What's this guy here this voodoo based XNU.980 version 2 and you just use OSX uh, 86 tools uh, which you can find anywhere um, and, at, uh, <coughs> and load the kernel in that way so you don't have to mess with a bunch of terminal stuff um, as far as operating everything else uh, VirtualBox which I'm running a a uh, copy of XP, um, Toast 10 Pro, uh, it has the full iLife suite, and of course the Microsoft Office. Uh, we go here about this Mac, I'm just gonna run out of time. And of course for these, you know, the IDNAB is my um, weapon of choice these days, just because it's our, it takes you to version 10.58, uh, and you don't have to worry about any updates, and um, it's just been working flawless for all the Inspiron, Dells, um, and HP models. They say it's 3 gigahertz Intel Core Duo, 2 gigahertz of 800 megahertz RAM, Bluetooth's rocking. Um, this one actually has a serial number, which is surprisingly unlikely. Disc burning. The graphics display. Uh, I did have to put the driver in here for the NVIDIA card. Um, but once you put that in there, it just works flawless. And that's about it. Means time for dinner. Dell Inspiron E1705. Hackintosh.